Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Step 12. Step 12. Oh, my goodness. Welcome, beloved church family. Uh, we love you guys. I'm, I'm Brother Joey. This is Brother Daryl, our elder here at God's Hand Worship Center. And, um, man, 12, 12 steps. steps. <laughs> Praise God. Um, for those of you who have, have been um, watching, thank you with all of our hearts. And for those of you who have been sharing um, this ministry and this, this message, and um, man, especially those that, that, that have been testifying, it's just been so powerful. That all the feed, the feedback that we we have received. You know, when I stepped in to do this, Hallelujah. I didn't know what to expect. Come on, brother. But this this exceeded any expectation I had. Same here. I mean, to to see how Holy Spirit brought everything alive through you in your obedience, in ministering and 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 helping. All of his beloved children going through this, this, this evil thing of of divorce, and and just to, just to have you in my life and beloved Christy, and and, and to know what Father God has done through your marriage. I mean the eternal marriage, but I mean to know what you've been through. I mean it's just been an honor, brother, and I am so grateful, man. Let's don't get in front of God. Let's pray first. Yeah, Amen. Amen. Praise God. Go ahead. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you on step 12. and Thank you, Lord. Lord, what a trip this has been. <laughs> God, there's been so much revealed, so much exposed. Lord, I, I just, I thank you that, I thank you, you chose Brother Joy and myself you, Father. to just be a part of this. Yes, Lord. Lord, Lord, this has been something beyond anything we, we comprehended yes. or expected. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray that I pray that the ones watching these videos, I pray that they're getting that same filled spirit that I that I feel sitting here yes, right Lord. now. I pray that you're just filling them with agape, and they, they can't do nothing but but fall in love with you. Hallelujah. And Lord, as always, we we just ask that everything that is said here brings you glory and honor, and we give all the praise yes, to Jesus, Lord, Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, so I, like I didn't mean to cut you off there. But, no, you know, we never do things both. in order. <laughs> Amen. Uh, <clears throat> But when we started this, I never dreamed that I would find healing in trying to teach and heal others. Good word. Because when you approached me about this, my mindset was, I'm doing this for other people. Right. Not knowing that I was the one that had to have this. Amen. So many, so many things have been revealed. Same. Chris, Christy and I have Same. grown. Through this, Hallelujah. I didn't think we had any problems, but we we we've grown closer through this. the The fact that I've got married people coming to me that have never been divorced, oh, never man. experienced divorce, and telling me they're watching the videos, and I'm right. like, well, first of all, why? Right. <laughs> you know? right. And then second of all, they're like, it has helped our marriage, and I'm like, glory be to God. So now we got to go back and relabel this. This is not divorce <laughs> care. <laughs> <laughs> this is bigger than divorce care. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Amen. It took us twelve steps to figure out that it's not divorce care. <laughs> I mean, but it's it's amazing how God Man, can just you. take an idea that you or I come up with and like get out of the way and let me show, let you, me show you what what this is. Hallelujah! I mean the, the the entire time, as you said, going through each step, in every step, in every worship service that we've had together. My goodness, and that, and the beauty about our Father is that. A lot of people don't like the word conviction, but conviction brings the blessing. Yes. You know, conviction, for crying out loud, what Lord Jesus Christ did on the cross, there is conviction. Yes. But it, but to us as his beloved, as, as his children, that's victory. You know, we look at the cross and we see victory, you know, and, and, I, and I'm so grateful because Holy Spirit taught me that through you, that in Jesus name, we can look at divorce and see victory. Yeah. Rather than see defeat that the enemy wants, you know, yes. or victim or, you know, or you'll, you, I, I've, we've heard this through this season. Oh, am I ever going to find? Well, number one, we need to make sure you find Christ. First. Yes. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> there ain't moving. There is no moving forward. You know what I mean? Well, without Christ, you're going to find another divorce. You, you And you nailed, you ministered on that the last video. You know, it's just going to keep on. Mm -hmm. It's a vicious cycle. And um, I'm so grateful because what you and, I mean, bottom line, I pray in Jesus' name that you guys, if you're here in Kentucky, come visit. 
we'd love to have you. We'd love Amen. to worship Amen. with you. We'd love to love on you. We'd love to hear, um, you know, what you get out of the videos. Um, but here in my heart, and I'm going to sound selfish, I just want you to meet Daryl and Christy. And I know everyone's pumped up and excited about the 13th video. And, man, I'm beside We talked myself. about that last night yeah. or this morning. I'm I can't remember myself. which one she, she's finally surrendered to. She's going to do it. Glory be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I can see her going. <laughs> that was exactly how she did it, too. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> but step 12, as you guys know, it's worship through him. And the scripture that we have is John 4, 24. Couldn't be more perfect in summarizing the 12th step. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen. And the principle that Holy Spirit will manifest in you, if you just, um, you know, if you just work this in your relationship with Father, is he promises that you'll be a disciple through Holy Spirit. And the bottom line is Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Um, so, beloved elder, as we always do, not only, I mean, I know that we're at the, te we're at the end of this, and but it's easy to just always be up here. You even touched on this last night. Yeah. But we also got to expose what's down here. Yeah. Because it's these moments down here that keep trying to drag you down. So, Many of you all asked, um, especially this past couple of weeks, what is the deal with through, through, through? And I, I, b I believe that Holy Spirit just wants us to address that quickly because it's one thing to stand at the door and know that, okay, there's the door. But in order to go from here to there, you have to go through. Amen. Amen. And so saying this in, 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 in divorce care and in, in divorce ministry, Bottom line, in, in going into a new season, the only way to go through truly is complete repentance and letting everything go. Amen. Amen. Letting, Amen. And so um, <clears throat> we, we, we just talked about this not too long ago, but there's so many that say that the divorce is behind them, but yet they drug into the relationship some insecurities that were not dealt with. And that's something that Holy Spirit wanted me to ask you. Um, in your agape-filled marriage with beloved Christy, is there anything that Holy Spirit has exposed to you that you actually drug into your marriage that he said, you know what, enough is enough. You need to stop this. Yeah. So, so the vision that's just come to me is, Hallelujah. when you go to the airport, and get on a plane, you have to go through the metal detectors. That's you can't beautiful. have anything on you that's illegal, a weapon, or anything like that. So when you go before God and try to have that relationship, you have to go through the Holy Spirit to have that. Yes. Okay, you can't go through the Holy Spirit to have that if you've got all these leeches and sin and burdens and everything you're carrying. Amen. So... I'm bad God. When I Thank married you, Christy, I somehow bypassed the metal detector and brought all kinds of garbage into the marriage. Because, you know, I, I don't know if I shared it in the last video. I think I did, but I can't remember. For a long time, every time she went somewhere and it was longer than I thought it should have been, I'm sitting in the back of my mind, where's she at? Oh my gosh, like alarm. Yeah. Like, like back. Because I've not been through this. So, I mean, you know. Me, oh, I mean, how is she any different than all the others? I mean, right. this is what's happened. Yeah. And uh, here we go again. So, yeah, I mean, I unintentionally wow. brought some stuff in. And, and even though she'd never been married, she had had several long term relationships and she had brought stuff in. You know, every time I would speak to a woman, it would trigger something into her that I was flirting with that woman. You know, so it, it wasn't one-sided. It Amen. wasn't all her. It wasn't all me. We, we both we both brought some stuff in, into our relationship and marriage that took a little bit of working through. Yeah. And, and but, but that feeling of, you, that feeling of every time an expectation wasn't met, here we go again. I mean, Satan was, he was having a field day with that. In the first couple years of our marriage, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to say it was tough because our marriage, our marriage has not been tough. Praise God. 
That's beautiful. But even in a blessed marriage, it was scary. Yeah. You know, the, the first couple years were, were kind of scary because every time something didn't go a certain way, my automatic fear was she's gone. Like that was the default. Yeah. Okay. And, and she she come to me multiple times and she said, "You've got to get over the fear of me leaving." Wow. She said, "You've got to get over that." Wow. And and I didn't know how. I mean, I really didn't. And, and, and you know, it, it, I told you in video eleven, I was going to say it, but prayer. Amen. Prayer is what got me through it, and and talking to God about it just constantly, and and. and God knows I'm one of the most stubborn beings He's ever created. I got you beat. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows He really, Lord, He me. really broke the mold when He made me. Yeah. But through prayer and just constant prayer and just trusting and, and and you know God, God told me He said, "You say you trust me, then why can't you trust her?" Oh, that's so powerful. And, and when I finally got to that. And, and, and I'm at the point now, I trust her 100%. Hallelujah. I Hallelujah. Thank but I wasn't Jesus. that way the first year we were married. And it had nothing to do with love. I loved her. I loved her as much as I could love her. But love and trust are two different categories. Amen. Amen. That comes from a whole different section of the brain as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. I mean, you know, Great I can love you, Great point. but that don't mean I trust you. And, and that was my shortcoming with her. I couldn't have gave this woman any more love because I, I gave her every ounce of love I had that I was capable of giving her. But Satan was sitting in the back corner saying, you don't trust her. So yeah, we, we brought, we brought garbage in. And, and that's why anyone that wants to sit down and meet with me, you're going to, you're going to hear me say this. If you don't go through these steps and get it right, you're making it difficult for God to bless that next marriage. Right. I ain't saying God right. can't. Right. Amen. I'm saying you're making it difficult Amen. for God to bless Amen. that next marriage. Yeah, because there is order for our father. Yes. Yes. And I love that because when you when you apply this in a relationship, it allows him, and I, that's such a powerful word, 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 Elder, that in obedience to God, you're allowing him to flow. Yes. But we always say he doesn't force you. No. He doesn't. He doesn't say, Daryl, you need to trust Christy. Yes. You need. He he doesn't do yeah. none of that to you. He's he's. Do you trust me? And I love that. That's how that's how Holy Spirit speaks to me. Yeah. Do, do you trust me? You know. He doesn't have a raised voice when he talks to me. He's like, Are you listening? <laughs> I love. I love. <laughs> Isn't I mean, that beautiful? Every everybody has their own way so God beautiful. communicates with them. But not, God don't come at me just shouting and banging and beating. He just he just sits over in a chair like. <laughs> Are you are you know, are you listening? <laughs> I mean, with me, are you done? <laughs> yeah, it's just a very very calm voice of me, and God is just like, you know, twenty six years, and, and here we are. I mean, it, it just it, it's it's different for everybody, but that's that's what's been revealed to me. Thanks, I mean, God. we as as much you, as much as I thought I was prepared, right? I still bypassed that metal detector and brought all kinds of stuff oh, in that man, I love that illustration. Praise God. That wasn't me. That was I, I amen. I amen. Oh, I know, man. I, <laughs> I didn't even know the question was coming. Glory be to God. <laughs> so, you know, the, the, the beauty, and, and you guys know we just love, we, we love our Father amen. with everything amen. we got. We're having such a blast. And, and we know this is serious, so please forgive me. I mean, in my laughter, I'm just rejoicing because of... Oh, it's praise God. Oh, praise God. You know what I mean? Because... A lot of people don't realize that you can actually disciple people to be cringy. Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. Like, I'm going to confess to you because I already picked on you enough and Holy Spirit said, throw myself <laughs> under the bus. I struggled with the same thing, Elder. Trust. I, I, I could not trust Trish. But then I also drug into my marriage from the divorce. Just a bad tone. Mm -hmm. Like, I had no... Um, even though I say, even though I said back then, now hear my heart, family. Before y'all start texting me or saying things, <laughs> this is the old dead Joey. This is not Joey now, but the old dead Joey. Even though I said I love Trish, the way I spoke to her in my tone yeah. was from the pit of hell. Yeah. And brother, just like you said, it it was like, my gosh, years, three, four years into it, where she finally said, you know what, enough is enough. You're gonna. You, you got to stop talking to me like a dog. Yeah. You know, you, you, you got to stop 
freaking out when I don't come home when I say I'm coming home. And I thought that I was doing everything good. If I dominate you, you'll be scared to leave me. Oh, see. <laughs> Look at Holy Spirit. That's what we do. That's what we do. You know, when, when me and Christy have had these disagreements or arguments, and I don't say fights because we really don't. I, I, I can't recall us ever having a fight like I classify a fight. Right, right. Okay. Right. And I'm not talking physical hitting. No, no, I'm just like, talking like screaming. Or, yeah, uh, yeah. We, 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 we don't do we've, that. we've never done that in the whole 18 years we've been together. Wow, praise God. But we still have our Heated issues, you know. And she'll sit and say, well, I didn't say that. I'm like, you don't have to say those exact words. But your facial expression, your tone of voice, the words you choose, yeah. this is what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. And, these and, are all and, 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 I, and all these marriages, anybody that's watching this, whether you're divorced or there's no issues or whatever, if you look back and be honest with yourself, at some point you've looked at your spouse and you've wanted to get your point across without saying that one word that you knew was going to take that fight to the next level. Right, right. And I, I did that. Yeah. I had a way of letting you know what I'm thinking, yeah. but you couldn't say nothing to me because I never said those words. But you knew what I meant. <laughs> oh my gosh. And isn't it, isn't it sad that we, even though I wasn't saved, we both weren't saved back then when we were going through this season. What's really sad is that without Christ in it, it is just insanity trying to fix insanity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like 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 it was always walking on eggshells, yeah. right? And 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 I, I I was trying to find like a formula to be a good husband <laughs> and not you know. <laughs> And not get on her last nerves or not say something wrong or not, like you said, not look at her. But I love what you said because you can you can go at me and say all these, but all the ingredients, this is what you're telling me. You know, there, there's no sugarcoating it. You're, you're, you're attacking me right now. And I, I have to take it back to Lord Jesus Christ because when you when you receive Lord Jesus and you truly worship him, you know that the only one who is attacked is him on that cross. I, I tell the kids, I've told my kids this through their whole life. I, I've told Christians this whole 18 years have been together. I can look at you and say, Brother Joy, I love you. Amen. I, I love, love you, you the way God loves you. Amen. Or I can look at you and say, well, Brother Joy, I just love you. Yeah. Now, which one expressed true love? Right, the first one. You know, yeah. the second one, I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. You're sitting there already wondering, what is he really about? Yeah, 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 right. It's the tone of voice. It's the the mouth movement. The eye. I mean, the body language. I, I'm a body language person. Yeah. You can sit and tell me anything you want to tell me, but I'm watching your facial expressions. Yeah. And I'm getting the true meaning behind what you're what you're saying. Praise God. Not something I learned or went to school. I mean, it's It's just God has given me that. Yep. And, and, and I watch body language. And, 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 you know, when you say the words, I love you, but your face is blood red. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's not the kind of love I want to receive. <laughs> you know? Amen. Now, if you look at me and say, I love you, and there's a tear running down your face, that's a genuine love. Praise God. But, it, I mean, if them jaw muscles are clenched and, and your ears blood red and your eyes are squinted, I mean. Yeah. Well, please don't love me so much. Right. <laughs> you know? It don't look right. Yeah. It doesn't look but, right. Don't but feel right. how many times have we done that to our spouses? Oh, my gosh. Brief. How many times in that old marriage did we do that? Yep. I had anger issues in the first marriage. Now, was those anger issues because of what I experienced? Or did those anger issues cause what I experienced? Right. You know, but... I was a tough man to live with. Looking back, I can see they don't justify what happened. Right. But I was a tough man to live with, and and, and I mean, I do get that I had just as much as powerful involved as, as as what you know. But you, and just like with Christy, I mean, I've told Christy many times, I'm sorry. I realize I am a hard man to live with because 
my expectations are perfection for God. Amen. And anything short of that, I'm upset. And that's where I struggle with my discipleship because I just look at people and I'm like, you need to get this right with God and get it right now. Right, right. right. We ain't coming back Sunday and working right, now. Right, right, right. And God is telling me, you know, not everyone comes to him the same way I came yeah, to him. Good word, good word. You know, and that, that's, that's been my biggest weakness. And, and, you know, this worship through him, my whole salvation, I've worshiped God. Amen. Hallelujah. But this is the first place that I've ever learned how to worship God through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. This is the first place I've ever learned how to worship God through Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Because, I, I mean, I've been to some great places, and they've all taught love. Amen but they didn't fully demonstrate what they taught. Praise God. And this is the first place God has called me to, and I'm not saying anything against anywhere I've come no, from. I love where I come amen. from. Praise I God. love where I come from. Thank you, Father. I've shared with you, I had no intentions of being here. Amen. None. Amen. And God's like, but God, thank you, Holy God Spirit. was like, I've got plans for you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Lord. But, and I love where I'm at now, but I never understood that side of loving people. Amen. And I never understood that you can't love people through yourself. That's it. You can only love people through him. Through him. My goodness, Elder, that's beautiful. I, I, that they, these are the things that God has taught me and I, I, I can't keep track of time. What have we been here, five months? Yeah, about, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is what God has taught me in five months. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He has revealed to me that, you know, yeah, you love people, but you loved them through yourself. You didn't love them through me. Because when I love people through myself, it's, I love you as long as you're not doing this. Yeah, it's that filet. As love, long right? as you're not. It's that brotherly yeah. love. Yeah. But now that I'm loving you through God, I'm like, I don't like preach what you're elder. doing, but I'm going to love you anyway. Amen. Preach, elder. <laughs> Completely different. It, it, it's Nightmare. totally different. Yes. And, it's, it's, and, and you know, oh my goodness. I, th I thank you. Father that you God. were obedient enough to God to teach me to love through Oh, him. my goodness. Well, I said that to you this morning, how Holy Spirit has taught me through you in, in, in all of this. Because, you know, I remember before the first video, <laughs> you remember, <laughs> Elder and I were talking about it. We're praying and asking, Holy Spirit, what are we going to do? <laughs> and, coming as clueless. But God, <laughs> but God amen. Amen. And um, I'm just I'm just honored to be with an elder with the elder all, all of the all of, all of our, our you know that when we worship whatever it is you worship you will manifest and you will show mm -hmm. and there's so many people that say they worship lord jesus christ but they treat their wife like garbage yes I mean, I, listen <laughs> amen i'm i'm accountable my elders right here and i'm going to tell you this being recorded that is not worship that's from no. the pit because the Bible says in Ephesians 5, I believe, that we as men are supposed to love our wife like Christ loves the church. And so when, when we talk about Christ loving the church, we see how he worships the Father in complete sacrifice. And like you said, brother, through, you know, Holy Spirit. I love what you said because you summed up the commandments in such an eloquent way that only Elder Daryl can say. Yeah. I was loving people but I was loving through me, which was wrong because now I love people through him. And brother, that's, there's the commandments. Lord Jesus says, love the father. And then second, it's automatic default. And that's everything I've been taught here. Oh my goodness. Glory be to God. Thank you. Holy Spirit. 26 All years here. and I learned more in five months. <laughs> <laughs> glory be to God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So, and, and nothing against those 26 years. No. I mean, I was being prepared. You know, God was teaching me and, and, and taking away the bad. And, 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 you know, here's how I look at it. Because I, I remember watching this one time. And it was on the news. This guy was taking a chainsaw and taking a log and cutting it into an eagle. Okay. And, and, the, and the news lady asked him, she said, how do you know what to, to, to do? He said, I cut away everything and don't look like an eagle. So... God turns us into, so anointed, man. God takes us and gives us salvation. And God chips away everything that don't look like Jesus. 
<laughs> and I mean, that's that's what God is. It took 26 years of chiseling on me to get away everything that didn't look like Jesus Glory so that God. when I came to this place, yes. Thank you. I would. I didn't come in here with all the baggage and garbage. I came in here ready to serve God and ready to worship God. I didn't come in ready to serve. I came in ready to worship God. Yes. Bottom line. Through worshiping God, now I'm serving God. Served, yes. You know, but I wasn't I wasn't looking for a church because my feelings got hurt. Yeah. Preach. I wasn't looking for a church because I was tired of where I was at. Right. I wasn't looking for a church because the church I was at wasn't serving God. Right, right. God pulled me out and said, it's time it's to time. go. Amen. Now, nothing against, nothing against anyone that's coming here that left the old place or, or left another. God brings us all here through different paths and different channels and for different reasons. Amen. But for me, I came in here with zero hurt or anything. I, oh, I just... We just came to check it out. Like you said, worship. Yeah, and, and we started worshiping, and I fell in love with Thank it, and God said, here you are. I wish God could do that for everybody here, but Same I mean, here. unfortunately, a lot of people come in here because someone else didn't meet their expectation. Amen. And we're here for them, and we love them. Amen. Amen. But the beauty of it is, I guess the point I'm trying to make is, I didn't come here seeking anything for me or Christy or Matthew. Right. I just wanted to be a part of it. And, and the next thing you know, God's got me so deep into it. I'm like, <laughs> how did this happen? And, and, and through that, he has taught me so much in 12 steps that I just didn't. I really thought I was a decent person. Yeah. You you and me both. I confess to you this morning, Elder, that uh, I, Trish and I asked, Ask the father, what have we been doing this this past eighteen years? You know, I mean, I I confess yeah. that to you, like, like we have never felt this alive, this much love, you know, this much freedom and peace, and I had to repent because I'm like, what, you know, since we are talking about discipleship mm -hmm. and discipled, I was like, Lord, did I did I misguide people? Did I, you know, what I mean, because it's like, let, let, let me let me take the other road and I get to ask questions. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> so you went through all of this and you're questioning yourself. What did the Bible tell you at the very beginning? Follow me, trust me, and I will bless you. Amen. Okay. Did that Bible say he'd do that in a week? That's a good point. That's did that Bible say word. he'd do that in a year? Right. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Took me 15 years, took you 18 years. Yeah. You know, we, we look at we look at that as I failed God, I failed God. No. You were being trained by God. Amen. God takes some people and puts them on a the fast path in three years there they are. Right, right. God takes some people and it may be fifteen, twenty years yeah. before they get where he wants them to be. Instead of looking at where did me and Trish fail in those eighteen years, I look at it as God could have sped you through to this and this wouldn't have worked. Oh man, thank you. Lord. But God gave you 18 years to learn how to trust him so that this will work. Amen, beloved. Powerful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Same thing with me. He gave me 15 years so that when he anointed me and allowed me to do this, it wouldn't be about Daryl. It would be about worshiping God. Oh, thank you, Father. That's... Well, you That's know, I confess to you because I, I, I know, I know, I know. We laughed about it, but I was like, "Lord, we met each other years ago. How come we couldn't have?" That? <laughs> oh, I, know, like, I know. I think we said the same time. Holy Spirit told me because you'd mess it up. Yeah. You, you, you would, you would either offend or hurt that man, and it wasn't time. And it's like, and, and he put us together me. at that specific time. That was probably what one of your worst points. Yes. Not the worst, but one of your worst points. Yes. And that's what he saved us for, because he knew. Amen. He knew at that point you had to have somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and, and I just praise God that I could be obedient enough to be there for him. Oh, my that. gosh. Because had I God. not been obedient, not would have hurt myself, but we would have lost you as well. Right, right. That, that's how important being, you know, you're thinking, well, I'm obedient. What does it matter? In that specific time, had I not been obedient. Right. I mean, what, what would have happened? Exactly. You know, you were surrounded by awesome brothers and sisters in Christ. 
but you you were a hurt man. Yeah. And, and and God God orchestrates us for specific reasons. Amen. You know, had I came into your life two years earlier, I may not have been able to share with you what I shared with you. Right. Oh my goodness, that's such a powerful word. You know, it's all on His timing. Amen. And and and, and that's what I love how Holy Spirit. He teaches everything. We said it this morning. He preaches every message here. And how does this pertain to divorce? For those of us right now that are watching this video and going, what are they talking about? What's going on? And all this stuff. You have an option to see what you went through as time wasted mm -hmm. and have all these regrets. Or as, as you perfectly said, Elder, give God the glory that he seasoned you, trained you up, protected you, pulled you through, so that now you have such wisdom and anointing of what not to do. Yeah. You know what? I mean, you you are blessed with such wisdom from God in what you have been through in your life that you can now start ministering to other people, and that's true discipleship. When you're like, it's not. And please, family, hear our hearts. And I believe we say this in every video. And Lord, forgive us if we don't. None of this is about us. It's no. all about Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. And the freedom he gives us through his Holy Spirit. Because once again, I could dwell on, man, we should have been buddies. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and we should have done this and we should have done that. But don't you love it? The Holy Spirit just told me, man, it, it, it wouldn't have worked. Because Father God needed us to go through. And the same thing goes for divorce. The devil wants to use any tool that you can give him so that he can play this mind game or guilt trip or the shame game, right? And I'm so grateful because when you worship Lord Jesus Christ, he will take you back like a movie. And it's funny because it's not even you, but you yeah. see everything that's happened to you and you're like, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. I'm not there anymore. And as you worship, remember, through you will manifest that with either your current wife or if you're believing to be married, you know, if you're believing for a husband, if you're believing for a wife, this is so important right now, right now that you worship Lord Jesus Christ, not, gosh, man, I'm just so stuck on it because Holy Spirit said, not just by loving people like, yeah. like, but loving him. Mm -hmm. And that's when Holy Spirit is so intimate with you. Oh, and I'm so excited. So I sat there for several years and regretted marrying her. But then God just kept telling me, you got two kids with that woman. Hmm. So if you're regretting marrying her, then you're regretting your children. And I know you love your kids. We and talk I'm about like, you know, that, that was convicting to me because Preach, brother. I couldn't have those two kids that I got had I not married her. That's so powerful, man. So we, we take it several years down later. And, and I'm sitting here looking at the marriage me and Christy have got. And I'm fully convinced our marriage wouldn't be as good as it is if God hadn't have taught me through the first one. Hallelujah. Because I would have been me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, I would have been me and, and me and Christy would have had to experience all of this that I got out of the way in the first one. Now, I'm not sure saying you go be married twice, <laughs> you know, right. but, but I mean, if that's the path that, that life hands you, right. you learn from it and don't make that same mistake. Amen. Now, I, I mean, I, me and Christy share with each other all the time, which I, I say it more than she does, but I mean, I would give anything if she could have been the one and the only, and we could be sitting here celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary right. instead of our six, right. you, you know. But that's just, that's just not the life God chose for me. God knew in order for me to be able to help divorce people, well, what's the first qualification? You've got to experience it. Amen. Hallelujah. How Hallelujah. do you help addicts? You've got to experience yep. it. Yep. You know, and, and you're going through this right now, and you're like, well, I'm glad that works for Brother Daryl, but I, I, I hate the man. That will pass. Amen. That will pass. It will. You, it's normal to have that feeling. Even as a Christian, it's Thank normal to have that feeling. Amen. But I guess the point is, what do you do with that feeling? Do you make that a way of life, or do you take that to the cross 
and I ask God, what is the next step in the book? Hallelujah. You know, we, we, we've identified, I got this feeling. Right. And we know this is not a Christian feeling. Right. So do I keep this feeling or do I exchange this with God? Amen. And, 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 and go to the next step. Oh, thank you, Father. That, that's where, that's where this, this process works for you. Amen. You know, go ahead and identify. Don't be ashamed that you have these thoughts. Let's just get over the ashamed. Yeah. And just put that aside. Yeah, just get okay. rid of it. But you don't understand. I want him dead. Okay, fine. You want him dead. I understand that. Right. I want him mine dead. Right. Okay. I, I was recording. Yeah, confess it out. Get it out. I was recording confess threatening the killer. And I'm, I'm in it. Right. You know, just get it out there. Now, give it to God and say, no more. Amen. We're, we're not, we're not going to entertain this thought again. That's worship. You know, now, now that's, I want to be a disciple. Worship. That's worship. You know, now how do I be a disciple? By getting all the garbage out, yes, Lord. worship through Him, and let Him teach you the next process in your life. Let Him use you to be that witness to help four or five more people through a divorce. Glory be to God. You don't got to be an ordained elder or pastor no. or deacon no. to sit up here and do this. Right. You can do this at home. Amen. If you, if you're right with God, you can open your house. Yes. To family and friends. And they can come to your house for Bible study and go through these steps. Amen. Amen. And receive salvation and receive healing. Hallelujah. You know, it don't got to be done in front of a video with no. I am sitting behind us. No. You know, Amen. I mean, it can be done anywhere. Amen. Just so happened God chose me and you to do it here. Right. Right. But if you're going through a divorce right now, instead of being so focused on this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me, it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me, you don't understand. Turn that around, look at God and say, okay. We can't undo the divorce. Yeah. What's your plan for this now? How are you going to use me to stop my sister, my brother, my children from going down the same road I went? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I went, I went through that season before, before Christ. Um, like you said, the blame, the shame, the guilt, all that. Because, um, you know, when, 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 when my ex committed adultery, I thought that I thought that I forgave her, but the only forgiveness is in Christ. Amen. Amen. You know, I mean, it, I, I, I confess, Elder, I was just a straight up demon with. I, 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 I thought that I can get past it, but you can only get past it through Christ. Amen. And so the inevitable <laughs> took place <laughs> through him. Hallelujah. And the, the only inevitable thing took place <clears throat> where, you know, when we got divorced. Um, it was just that constant, you know, in the, you know, like, like that itch that you can't reach. It was that constant, but the, the, the deception of the, of the devil was you got to move forward. You got to move forward. You know, you, 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 and, and, and here my heart family, I, I it, father wants us blessed. Father Amen. wants us to Amen. prosper. Father God wants us to be the brightest light in this fallen, dark, evil world. Father God wants us um, powerful, mighty. It's all Holy Spirit. And it's all for Lord Jesus Christ's Amen. glory. It's Amen. all. And he wants that for us. But what we do expose in this worship is that the devil has a counterfeit of that. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. And in that counterfeit of that, rather than worship through him, he wants you to worship through the future yes we need we said at the same time he want he wanted me to worship trish and the only way i can do that was i was worshiping myself i was getting all prideful what can i do how much money can i make what what are the things that i can buy her you know and even still i bought this for the church i gave this to the church i, I love this for the church <laughs> i love how holy spirit can only flip it because you were you were a saved man yeah going through all of this garbage and here i was confessing to you i was I was a pure demon. I was yeah. completely evil. And so you and we both the, produced the same result. Yeah, because really. Satan was in charge of it. Like, you don't gotta be saved or unsaved. You can still all do the same thing. Yeah, because Father doesn't push yeah. himself. And, and 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 I love what you say all the time, because you live it. And I'm I'm so grateful because if the trumpet goes off now, we stand eye to eye Amen. with Lord Jesus. Amen. And we, hallelujah. Yeah, and we're hallelujah, we're accountable and we're, 
And we know we we Father, we give everything we got every moment, every day. Elder, and I thank you. I thank you for that. I thank God for that. And you say it all the time. If you're mad at God, just get it out. Mm-hmm. Confess it. But you got to get you got to open yourself. Yes. We, we were taught our whole lives. You're not a Christian if you have negative thoughts. Yep. Wow, that's so and good. That's, okay. So here, here's, I, and, and people get so tired of hearing me say this, but. I go back to this verse because this this shows me that Jesus was human. Because yeah. I've heard a lot of people d- debate, well, was he really a human? Oh my gosh, I hear okay. that a lot too. He was a human. Yeah. He laid because it no, not just that. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. You're correctly right. But Jesus went into the temple and threw a spiritual hissy fit yeah. and slung tables. So how can I look at you and say Christians are not supposed to have negative thoughts? Right. Jesus come unglued in the temple and threw tables. I love how you said that. Now that don't give me permission to come and just throw <laughs> tables. But if Jesus could have that anger yeah. and have that moment, yeah. who am I to be a Christian and have it perfect? Amen. Amen. Now that's not an excuse to do what I've done. But to put those expectations on you because you're a pastor, right. that is not fair. Mm-mm. That is not fair. Mm-hmm. That, that is not fair for me to put these expectations on you because you're a, a deacon, an elder, or whatever. Right. You know, even Jesus had a moment of anger yes. and threw tables. Yep. Yep. So get over this, I can't share with God that I'm mad at him. He knows. He knows. Satan is allowing those thoughts to stay in your head because that's the only way he can manipulate you. Yep. Yep. The minute you expose those thoughts to God, oh hallelujah! Satan just lost that battle. Now he's got to go back and figure out something yep. else to do to you. Yep. Yep. But he can't win that one nope. because you've already gave it's it to done. God. You, you through him, Amen. You were healed, Amen. And, and that's you know, <laughs> I, I bring that verse up all the time when people come attacking me. Well, I didn't like the way you addressed that. Yeah. Well, I mean, take it. You say it all the time, take it up with Father. <laughs> yeah, take it up with the Lord. Just, yeah, we well, love each well, other. Well, that wasn't very Christian the way you did that. I mean, my God threw t- through tables. Yeah. You know, that proved to me Jesus was a human. Yeah. And that proved to me Jesus experienced every That's human beautiful. thought that we have experienced. Amen. Amen. Get over the self righteous. Religious beliefs, yep. and just come here. And say, I, I've had these discussions with God. I have stood in the road. I shared in that last message yes. I preached. Amen. Amen. I stood in the road and cried and looked at God and said, "Why? Yep. Why am I being punished for serving you?" Yep. And after I had my little hissy fit, God was like, "Are you done, done. now? <laughs> you done? Yeah. Okay. Now here's three hundred dollars. Shut yeah. up! Yeah. I just Amen. blessed you. Amen." And then I felt this talk. But it, it, you, you've just got to, you got to just stop where you're at. Get over this victim mentality. Get over this, I'm you. hurt, I'm upset, really? I hate him, I, I can't stand her. Holy Spirit, you got you. you got to just stop and look at God and say, God, right now I don't feel like praying to you. I don't even feel like talking to you. Mm-hmm. But I trust you and I love you. Amen. And I know this will pass. Amen. And I know this is not going to pass in the next five minutes. I know this is not going to pass in the next three hours. But I know on your time, this will pass. Hallelujah. There's victory right there. And that's how you that's how you get you get rid of it and you get right with God. And, and once you do that, I promise you, you'll worship through him in a more powerful way than I can. Amen. 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 Because... Well, we, we said this morning, everyone's relationship's different. Yes. And I also love what you said this morning. Everybody is in a different season. But the beauty is, is that we're all in this together. Mm-hmm. And if it's all grounded in Holy Spirit, in his perfect love, you can't go wrong. No. Because you know that everything is done, everything that is said, whether you like it or not. It's done out of love. Yes. It's done out of order. Yes. It's it the, the the purpose behind it is to worship through him. Amen. To, you know, to, to bring him glory. Yes. <laughs> to 
bring him glory. And and by the grace of God, I mean, Elder, I don't, because, you know, coming from me, some people might say, oh, well, he's just blowing it all. <laughs> so I'm just going to ask you, are you blessed to be surrounded by so many amazing marriages in our in our family? I mean. Oh, wow. I, I, said, I never. I don't want to call anyone out, but. But I, I'm sitting and looking at one particular marriage that is involving exes, and I'm like, I'm ashamed because I can't do that. I sit here before all of you, and I'm ashamed that I'm not at the point that I can do that. Now, now me, me and her have reconciled, and we can be in the same room now. Amen. And I can talk to her and have a conversation with her. Right. But I'd be lying to you if I told you I was going to invite her over to my house on Christmas Day. I, right. I can't do it. Yeah, the God can do it, but I, I can't do it. That's so beautiful, Elder. How, How do I get up? to that point? I mean, I, I've been praying to God, you know, to to release all the, you know. Praise God. Worship but, through but him. But I mean. I hear you. I sit here before you and tell you, I'm not at that point. <laughs> I'm, I'm in awe. I am. I mean, like you said, not not calling them out, but just. Yeah, it's the conviction. I, I mean, I see, see one particular relationship in this in this worship center that I'm just so blessed to see that because I'm like, now that is agape love. Amen. Amen. That that is worshiping through Him. Amen. That is discipling. Amen. That is a true relationship with God. Hallelujah. And I and in some ways you're not supposed to be, but I am jealous of that. <laughs> but the beauty is, you you say it all the time. When we worship through him, expect his best. Yeah. Because I, I want to say, like, last week you said this to me, like, we're the only ones that put limitations on that. Yeah. And I was like, man, that's so, that that's, you know what I mean? Do, do unbelievers put any limitations on God? Mm, come on now. <laughs> they really, don't care what he does. That's a really good point. That's a really good I mean, point. I'm headed to hell. I don't care what he yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah. But the believers is the ones put limitations we, on We him. are the ones. Why? And no more in Jesus' name. No more. You know, I, I, I'm I'm eternally grateful for you and beloved Christy because when we're on this step, step twelve, worship through Him. I need you to know, as as a leader of God's hand ministries, that you guys truly make disciples in in wanting you as a man wanting men to be good or husbands. And I thank you for that because I can just be around. I told Sister Chrissy last night when I hugged her, I'm like, my gosh, I just love you. And and you just feel agape overflowing. You just feel the anointing by his stripes. You just feel it. And hear my heart. I know it may sound like I'm puffing you up, but you know that's not what we do. It's the obedience as you worship the only one good how Holy Spirit promises he will manifest. And I thank you for that because you are truly, you and Sister Christy are truly making disciples. I mean, for those of you guys who don't know, our elder, praise God, is plugged in at the Ark too on Mondays, helping to support Brother Jim out there and all of our beloved brothers out there. And we found out real shortly as we obeyed Holy Spirit in launching divorce ministry um, that a lot of addiction stems from and that know. was convicting, right? And um, so I mean, I'm I'm just so grateful because we got it. We got to once again expose Satan because he has no power and authority over us. It's it's Amen. all just it's all just deception, lies, and just you know that's what it is. Amen. Get out of yourself. I know people are mad when I say that, you know, because they're like, you don't, you could feel it. You don't know what I'm going through. Yeah. You don't know. And you're right, beloved, I don't. But look what he went through. That's all we're asking. Look at what he went through on that cross. And I promise you, it'll make whatever situation nothing. But you know, it's a fair statement when someone looks at me and says, you don't know what I'm going through. It is. It is. It's a very fair statement. But I know the result of what you're going through. I know the outcome of what you're going through. Hallelujah. Good word. So I, I don't particularly know what you're going through, but I know what it's going to result, and I know what the outcome is, and I know what the outcome can be. Yeah. So if that's any comfort to you, 
I'll look you and I tell you a lot of situations I don't know what you're going through. Because, I mean, even at my worst, and I, I've said this before, alcohol and drugs was not involved. Right. There was no physical abuse Praise involved. God. Praise God. So, yes. there's a lot of divorces out there that are 10 times worse than what I went through. Right. So, I don't understand what they're going through. Right. But the end result of divorce, I understand the outcome. I understand the results. Amen. And that goes back to this here. If you follow this, you can eventually reach that point to worship through him Hallelujah. and be that disciple. Hallelujah. You know, Amen. That that's there there is a promise there. Amen. And, and I love it that we're so far away from all the negative first four or five steps is yeah, it's, it's, it's just bring it out. I mean it's just it's bring it preach nitty gritty. <laughs> It, it it blows my mind how this was wrote in order, but the first five or six steps, you're in there with a the shovel and yeah. a rake, and you're just digging. And I mean, Gosh, I love you. You know, you're chiseling away. Everything Straight don't up. look like a Christian. <laughs> yeah. And then you get to this point of Thank the you. last Thank three you. or four steps. It's Amen. like, okay, I've delivered you from this now. Amen. Now let me show you how I'm going to bless you. Amen. Let me show you how you can use this, and let me show you how you can bring glory to me. Hallelujah. And I know the day you sit down and wrote the first page, you did not know this is how it's going to unfold. No, but know. this is how this is unfolded. Amen. For crying out loud, just this morning in our fellowship and worship, without telling you anything of what transpired yesterday, Holy Spirit told you my whole day. <laughs> so you you nailed yeah. it. I mean, and, I, and I'm just eternally grateful, Elder, because, you know, because of your obedience, because of what you've went through, Holy Spirit has used you to launch this out. And so many souls are getting Amen. saved and delivered from this um, deception. Amen. And um, I am so grateful, Elder, that, that you said yes. Um, despite what he tells you all, he said yes. I didn't I had to. <laughs> 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 but um, but, uh, but I, I do, I do want to encourage you guys. I know there's, there's many of you that have reached out. And since we're recording, um, Elder Dale, would you be open for people to sit with you and for you to do like um, um, this type of worship and to ask them questions? Oh, absolutely. Like, amen. Absolutely. So you heard it from him? Anything that's going to bring glory to God and help someone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I, I, I just, that's our I don't want people to have to go through a oh, divorce you know, and learn the hard way I did. I want them to have someone, because I had people that helped me through this amen. and I had divorced people. Christian Amen. divorced people right. Coach you that, that right. brought me through this. I don't want anyone out there going through this alone. Amen. You know, and if it's not me, I want to be able to find someone that can give you that guidance and, and help you through this. So, Amen. yes, absolutely. Praise God. Beloved family, I cannot stress this enough. Um, take advantage as far as with what Holy Spirit has blessed us with. Elder Daryl is, is more than willing to, um, you know, to love on you, to talk to you, you know, um, you, you do do Facebook. Yes. I said do do. <laughs> Not grown up. I have Facebook. <laughs> yeah. So so our beloved elder has has Facebook. You can reach out to him, Elder, elder Daryl Smith, but I, I'm sure there's no elder in there. That's what I call him, <laughs> praise God, because he's my beloved elder. And um, we, we can't stress enough that, you know, if you worship agape, you will produce agape. Amen. And um, as Amen. I said to you, and I'm not making this up, just last night, just um, just being able to to just love on sister christy and to feel holy spirit's presence is is overwhelming and truly if we're talking about worship that is the fruit yeah and, and you that know we the have th there's 12 steps but we have one more video coming amen and, and the whole purpose of that video is because christy keeps questioning me and, and the whole purpose of that video is I just want to be able to share with those that have no hope Amen. right now Amen. that if you, you go through this and you do this the right way, there's a blessing out there waiting for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, I'm not telling you it may be in the form of a spouse or another relationship. Mine happened to be a relationship. Right, right. You know, mine happened to be another marriage. Right. But by following this, God has that blessing waiting for you. Amen. He's just waiting for you to get yourself in order. Amen. So this is not about bringing glory to my wife or any, any of that. Right. It's just about she was the blessing that God gave me. Yes. And I want them to be able to see 
I followed this, and this is how God blessed me. Amen. Well, I also want to encourage you, Elder Daryl, on that same note, and I'm excited. I'm excited for what Holy Spirit's done. Period. But um, there, there, there has been three uh, marriages that did not wind up in divorce through these videos. Wow. I so did not know that. I need you to know that um, um, this is something Praise that God. yeah. Praise God. And, and and that blows me away because here it is as far as talking about how Holy Spirit will will not only love you through a divorce and encourage you through a divorce and and truly, I mean, just see the victory in divorce. But um, these three marriages, um, one of them was 12 years, 12 years marriage. Um, they were on the verge of divorce and they started going through the videos. Praise and God. Holy Spirit has has completely changed it. Praise God. Amen. So I, I just I want wanna, every marriage say that can possibly be saved. Amen. I amen. Can. And And it all starts in confessing Jesus Christ as Lord. I mean, that, that is the bottom line. You confess Jesus Christ as Lord, repent, and allow Holy Spirit to, allow Holy Spirit to just be intimate within you. That's worship. Yes. I mean, that's worship. That, that's, that's one of the um, biggest things that um, I believe that Holy Spirit is doing in the recovery centers is, um, you know, let, letting all those souls know that you think you're an addict. You're not an addict. You're just worshiping the wrong thing. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I mean, that's just it. Yeah. You know, I mean, you said it earlier, if I'm, if I'm just going to worship myself, then guess what? I'm going to start worshiping all these other things. Mm -hmm. But when you worship Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. hallelujah, Amen. and you have Holy Spirit, the beauty is, is that he frees you from, from everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, we love you guys. So yeah. I, pr I pray in Jesus' name that uh, number one, we just love God first with all the heart, yes. soul, mind, and strength. And we love each other as we love ourselves. And um, beloved elder, do you have anything else to say? Man, I think you summed it all up very well. <laughs> I mean, if you were so long with I'm just so pumped up. Hallelujah. No. If you would, close our prayer. Praise Dear God. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this powerful message this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for the praise reports that we receive through these videos. Thank you, Father. Lord, I, I pray for restoration. I pray for salvations. I pray for blessings. I pray that yes, Lord. I pray that people just surrender oh, everything right that is now, negative Lord. and give it all to you. Yes, Lord Jesus. And just allow their hearts to be changed and filled with agape. Thank you, Father. Lord, that is, that is the heart of our prayer. That's yes. the heart of everything we do here. Yes, Lord. Lord, we just pray that that, Thank you. that they don't see Brother Joy or myself. No, saw you, Lord Jesus. That they can look past me and him and yes. see that cross. Hallelujah. And see what you did for them. And Lord, as always, I give you all the praise and glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I love you, beloved. Thank you, Elder. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs>